Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Project KPI Excel template. We'll start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Perfect. First, let's go into the settings page. This allows you to indicate the report start month and the project name. Let's go to the KPIs tab. This is the main data input section. It is split in four sections. We have the timeliness related metrics, percent progress, planned hours, time spent, etc. The budget metrics, such as planned value, actual cost, the quality related metrics, customer satisfaction, number of errors, etc. And finally, the effectiveness metrics, tasks performed on time, overdue task. The data will be entered monthly. Let's move on to the subtitle section. This is where each KPI is detailed and a brief description is indicated for each metric. Finally, the dashboards. There are four dashboards, one for each section. We'll start with the timeliness dashboard. The header indicates main KPIs. We have the number of adjustment to schedule, the number of planned hours, total of time spent in hours, the ratio of time spent versus planned, and the resources. Further down, we have the total percent project progress, the percent progress per month, the planned hours versus time spent per month, the number of adjustment to the schedule per month, and the resources per month. Moving on to the second dashboard, the budget KPIs. The header indicates the total planned value, total earned value, total annual cost, variance between planned and earned value, and variance between earned value and cost. We also have the schedule performance index and cost performance index. Further down, we have the schedule variance per month, as well as the cost variance per month, and further below that, we have the schedule performance index per month and the cost performance index per month. Let's go to the quality KPI dashboard. Here, the header indicates the percentage customer satisfaction, the NPS, number of errors, customer complaint, and employee churn rate. Further down, these metrics are just detailed in graphs on a monthly basis. Finally, the effectiveness dashboard. Once again, the header displays the main metrics for this section. We have the number of project milestones, the number of training hours, number of tasks performed on time, after deadline, overdue, and total tasks. Further down, we have the number of training hours per month, the number of tasks performed after deadline, on time and overdue month by month, as well as the percentage task performed on time. Finally, the total number of tasks is also displayed per month. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our Project KPI Excel template and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy.